Another crazy car. I guess the craziest car I've done so far is probably the Golf R. High horsepower car, body clutch and everything. This kind of takes things to new extremes. I am in a 760, 776 brake horsepower car. That computes to 650 wheel horsepower. To give you an idea, this car has 500 brake horsepower per ton, which that's more than a Lamborghini Aventador. been in this car for probably about a good 30 minutes now driving around with the owner it feels like a normal car which is kind of what's scary you don't really expect it that's what's kind of it throws you off about this car if you were to glimpse at this car you would think it's another STI you take a second glance is when you start to notice that it's not you do notice that it does have a different wing you notice it's a bit higher that, that could be either mistaken for you know, an auto zone wing, or if you look at it, you notice it's actually a full carbon fiber wing, and it's actually making downforce for the car. You also then will notice that it has a carbon fiber trunk, a carbon fiber hood. You start to notice that it's a performance car. For the rubber on the road that we have, our Coyo Proxies R1Rs, it's, uh, it's a step down from the R88s. These are more safer for the road. Now, let's talk about the engine. It's a fully built engine from all-wheel drive tuning with forged internals. Now this does have a CT six puck clutch, so I have been trying, I have been having to get used to it. Uh, it bites really high, and whenever it does bite, it bites hard. But the car overall, it feels pretty, pretty strong. And what I mean by strong, I'm not really talking about horsepower. It feels like it was all built right. I know that the tuner is at all-wheel drive tuning. It's been 13 hours tuning this car and I think the work has paid off the owner daily drives this car like it's no problem he has a 650 wheel horsepower STI that he takes to work and it hasn't given him any problems so far now normally the the competitor for this car is kind of like the Evo and it's, I know that both of those cars have always been geared towards kind of like also having a rally aspect to it however there is no more rally aspect to this car. It's got coilovers all around. It uh, has a low profile tire on it. It's mainly made, or mainly meant for the street now. So, no more Baja. Now it's a funny story how he came to kind of build this car out to what it, it is today. He originally had about 450 horsepower in the car, but something happened with the turbo, may have blown. However, whenever he went in to fix it, it was either, I think it was like get a new engine or build it out to 650. So we built it out to 650. And I think that was a great move because this car feels crazy fast and it's crazy awesome. And you can, I like how you can still use it for daily use. Granted, it does have this kind of big bar in the back and it's kind of hazardous for people to kind of be back there. But boot's still fully functional. There's not too much drone whenever you're driving it. You can hear the exhaust almost at all times. But it's not like it's very droney. It's not, it's not super obnoxious. And something I do like to point out is we are on an E85 tune. We're actually pushing around probably like E70 right now. But this car on E85 can get up to about 20 miles per gallon which for E85 is pretty, it's pretty good. We all know that E85 is known for having like that high compression knock rate in order to get the best out of it. But typically cars that have that high compression rate, typically you're not definitely not looking for fuel economy. But the fact that this car can still kind of maximize that is pretty incredible. Uh, the owner was also telling me on pump gas, he can get around 25 miles per gallon on it if he tries. But, you know, if I had this car, I would never really think about ever trying to get gas mileage on it because it's just, oh my God, that is so good. You know, 
I drive a naturally aspirated car, and I always like how I always have like a linear, linear power band, linear pull, but boost is just, it's so much fun, <laughs> yes! Oh my god! I would say that accelerating in this car is similar to, whenever you go to the fair, there's that one ride that kind of takes you up, and like, you have your, you're surrounded by other front and seats, it takes you up, and then it gets you to the top, and it leads you there for a little bit, and it drops you. That's what driving this car is like, and I'd say it's like that because whenever you get dropped, you're just, one, you're not expecting it, and two, you have that kind of like feeling like your heart's kind of pulling back into like, pulling like out of you. That's what it feels like in this. Whenever you get on it, it's pulling you back your heart. It feels like it's coming out of you. It's, it's, it's on another level. I think I have like an un announced respect for guys that drive cars like these because this is his daily he takes this like i said earlier he takes us to work he takes it everywhere and to like daily or race car it's i mean it's a bitch but i think it's awesome that you know i think it's awesome that a car guy would rather go through the bs of having a hard clutch to deal with every day and having to warm up your car, having to go through all the different procedures, you live with it because because race car. Despite this thing having coilovers all around, it's still at stock height. And you would think that because we have 650 going to the wheel, it's kind of uncontrollable. But I've gone around corners in this and it's, it's balanced. Like, if I could take a car to a track right now, God, dude. Yeah, no shit over speed. As y'all know, my brother has a you know Sage 2 Golf GTI, which does have a considerable amount of boost in it. But I guess this I don't know the I guess the amount of boost this thing makes, it's on another, it's just everything is on another level. It's something that you really have to get used to. It's something I'm not used to at all. Now, right now, we are making 27 pounds of boost. In the craziest setting, it makes 32 pounds of boost. And that's a lot. <laughs> I know most cars, I mean, the most boost settings are anywhere between probably 8 and 14 pounds. I'm not going to really act like I know. It's just kind of what I hear. Um, but 32 pounds of boost, that's certainly a lot. I, I just, what really kind of mime like kind of screws with my head is that all-wheel drive tuning they've found a way to make this car reliable and still push this much boost this much power it, it's insane it's awesome i mean it, from what i've heard i've known that these subies are known for having engine problems the evos are known for having transmission problems but I don't feel any engine problems in this car. I feel like it's all well thought out. It's all made right. Right. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much power. We just fucking ripped off our rear view mirror. <laughs> oh my God. What the hell? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> I can't believe well, that just happened. <laughs> all wheel drive tuning. We are now suing you for making a too powerful car. Um, your subpoena is in the mail. I think that's where we're going to call it for today. This is my, this is the first car that I've ever driven that's been built out. And it's been, it's, it's crazy. It's on another world. I mean, you drive, I've driven some supercars. And you can still drive supercars like the regular cars built cars it's a completely different world so thank you much respect Bonya, for letting me drive this car i'm going to put all the information below about what this car has done to it and um if you'd like to learn more about all the different types of internals and everything so all that information is below we're, we're going to spend the rest of the day putting the rearview mirror back on the car but um thank y'all so much for watching I'll catch y'all next time. I'm not even sure you're going to close the door. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't reach the door. <laughs>
What? I oh, can't really. reach the All right, I got you.